In this video, we will discuss the concept of variation. Why different individuals, even though they belong to the same species, they are not identical with each other. So, are there many differences between each of the individual, even though they belong to the same species? So, it is basically the fundamental concept of variation. So, even within the same species, there is usually a great deal of variation, perbezaan, between each individual. For example, here we have a species of snail. But as we can see in this image, even though they belong to the same species, they vary considerably between each of the individuals. So, the wide variety of differences within the same species so that is variation. First introduction to variation. So what is variation? So it's a differences in characteristic or previously we know characteristic refer to phenotype. So differences in phenotype between organism of the same species. For example, human beings have the same form of features but they do differ in their height, skin color, and even eye color and then differences can also be in terms of phenotype that is not observable through our eyes for example blood type so these are the phenotypes that are part of the variation that we can see within the same species of human next there are two types of variation as well as two sources of variation. In terms of sources, the variation we see in each individual can be either influenced by their genetic makeup or can also be as a result of their environment. Next, for types of variation, the continuous variation is the characteristic that is considered as quantitative. For these continuous variations, it is the variation in characteristic that are qualitative. For example, the blood type. For the quantitative, we have the human height. Next, we will discuss the types of variation. So the first one is the continuous variation or quantitative variation. So for continuous variation, it is a quantitative character that can be measured. Next, individuals show gradual differences between one extreme to the other extreme of the phenotype. For example, kat sini kalau human height, ada individual yang very low height, ada yang medium, ada yang very high. So maksudnya, Characteristic tersebut shows range of differences from one extreme, minimum extreme, to the other extreme, which is the maximum extreme. The next point is, individual cannot be grouped into discrete phenotype. Maksudnya, kita tak boleh group characteristic tersebut dalam satu kumpulan sahaja. Sebab akan ada overlap between each of the group that we're trying to create. So, in the end, we cannot group the characteristic into unique group. So next, they will show normal distribution curve. So daripada gambar ni kita boleh nampak, it will show a normal distribution curve, maksudnya a bell-shaped curve. Ada minimum, ada intermediate, ada maximum extreme. Seterusnya, characteristic is controlled by many genes ataupun polygenic inheritance. For example, human height, human weight. And lastly, the characteristic will be affected by genetic and environment source of variation. So the phenotype is not exclusively determined by the genetic, but is actually a combination of genetic and the environmental factor. For discontinuous variation or qualitative, it involves qualitative character that cannot be measured. So, kalau continuous study, the character can be measured. Kita boleh nilai dia punya quantity. But for this continuous variation, the phenotype or the character cannot be measured. 
So that's why it is known as qualitative character. Secondly, individual will show distinct differences between one extreme to the other. So type satu individual can be grouped into a discrete phenotype. For example, kat sini kita ada blood type. So there are individual that have A blood. Ada juga yang B blood. Ada juga yang AB. Ada juga yang O. So kat sini kita nampak individual can be placed into an exclusive group. So kalau individu itu ada A blood type, dia hanya boleh A sahaja. Kalau B, B sahaja. Kalau AB, AB sahaja. So there will be no overlapping between each group. So that's why kita kata individual show distinct differences. Next, the phenotype will show discrete distribution curve. Iaitu there will be no overlap between different groups of phenotype. Seterusnya, character is controlled by a single gene. Kalau continuous study, the character is controlled by polygene but for discontinuous, the character is controlled by a single gene only. And lastly, they are affected only by genetic factor. So there is no influence by the environment. So that was the two different types of variation, continuous variation or discontinuous variation. Next, we'll discuss the sources of variation. As previously mentioned, there are two main sources of variation, either genetics or environment. For genetic sources, it can be further divided into two different groups, either genetic recombinants or true mutation. For the genetic recombinant, the mechanisms involved is either crossing over, independent assortment, or random fusion of gametes. For mutation, it can occur through gene mutation ataupun point mutation, and another types of mutation is chromosomal mutation. So both of these is the sources for variation that happens at the genetic level. Another sources is environment. So environment can also influence the variation that we see in a species of organism. So an example of environmental factor that can influence the characteristic of individual includes climate, culture, sunlight, temperature, water or soil content. So now we will look how crossing over can lead to genetic variation in a population. Crossing over is a process that happens during prophase 1 of meiosis that involve non-sister chromatids of the homologous chromosome. So during crossing over, there will be exchange of genetic material between the non-sister chromatids of the homologous chromosome. This exchange will lead to recombination of genetic material on the homologous chromosome. So as a result, there will be different combination of maternal and paternal genes in the gametes. So this is one of the reasons why each gamete is not identical to each other following meiosis process. The second process of genetic recombination is independent assortment. So independent assortment also occur during meiosis, specifically during metaphase 1 of meiosis 1. Independent assortment involve homologous chromosomes which align on the metaphase plate during metaphase 1 of meiosis 1. So kita boleh tengok dalam gambar ni, independent assortment maksudnya each pair of the homologous chromosome can align on the metaphase plate independently of the other pair. Kat sini kita nampak ada dua possibility iaitu the maternal origin and the paternal origin for both homologous pair adalah on the same side of the metaphase plate. Dua-dua maternal sebelah kiri, dua-dua paternal sebelah kanan. 
So another possibility is during meiosis, when the bivalent align on the metaphase plate, for the first pair, the maternal chromosome situated on the left, the paternal will be situated on the right. But for the other pair, it is the paternal that situated on the left, but the maternal will be situated on the right. So itu maksudnya independent assortment. So setiap satu pair of the homologous chromosome can align on the metaphase plate regardless of the arrangement of the other pair. So semakin banyak pair of chromosome, semakin banyak bivalent, so there will be even more different possibilities of arrangement at the metaphase plate during metaphase of meiosis 1. So as a result, in the gametes, akan ada different possible combination of paternal and maternal chromosomes. So this is why, similar to crossing over, the gametes produced during each round of meiosis is not identical with each other. Hence, create genetic variation in gametes. The third mechanism of genetic recombination is random fusion of gametes or also known as random fertilization. Maksudnya, tadi kita dah nampak because of independent assortment and crossing over, each of the gametes are not identical with each other. Dan ada banyak gametes produced, especially sperm. Ada banyak different kind of sperm and each of the sperm is not identical with each other. So during fertilization, either one of either one of millions different sperm can fertilize each egg. So maksudnya there is no rule that dictate what kind of sperm that will fertilize what kind of egg. So any sperm has the same chance to fertilize egg. And only one will be able to involve in fertilization. So this is the random fertilization. Next, genetic variation can also happen through mutation. So the first type of mutation that can cause genetic variation is gene mutation or point mutation. So gene mutation is a change in the single nucleotide base pair in DNA sequence of a gene. So untuk satu gene tu, kalau ada pertukaran single nucleotide base pair, so itu maksudnya gene mutation ataupun point mutation. For example, we have here sickle cell anemia, which is caused by gene mutation base substitution. So the base substitution in the original hemoglobin DNA has caused change in the codon in the mRNA, which leads to change in the amino acid for the hemoglobin, hence the sickle cell shape. Another example of gene mutation that can lead to variation is in seedless fruit. Here we have gene mutation that produces seedless orange. So because of the mutation, the orange will not have seed inside them. Another source of genetic variation through mutation is chromosomal mutation. So chromosomal mutation is a change in the chromosomal structure or chromosomal number. For structure, we have Cri du Char, which is the deletion in the short arm of the chromosome number 5. And then we also have Down syndrome for alteration in the chromosome number, which is Nuploidy. So Down syndrome individual will have extra copies of chromosome 21 known as trisomy 21. So either types of mutation can lead to variation in the genetic makeup of individual that belongs to the same species, hence variation. The second source of variation is environmental source. So Factors such as climate, diet, culture, or lifestyle can also affect the differences seen in the individual, even though the individual belongs to the same species. However, this kind of variation cannot be transferred to the next generation. 
because the differences is only on phenotypic level. There is no alteration in the genetic makeup. For example, here we can see a twin that are genetically identical, but phenotypically they are not identical, even though their genetic makeup is identical. Why? In this case, it is because of culture and lifestyle. And all of these differences that we can see is non-transferable to the next generation. That's it for sources of variation.